most of us are familiar with the military's use of unmanned aircraft called drones or unmanned aeronautical vehicles, UAVs for short. They fly over targets armed with cameras and or weapons to gather intelligence and take out targets. At this week's Oklahoma Aerospace Summit and Expo, participants are learning that Oklahoma is geographically and technologically set to exploit the ever-expanding use the military and civilian sectors have for unmanned aircraft. I think as they continue to, to invest in research and, and uh, look at the possibilities for UAVs and UAS, uh, unmanned aeronautical systems, I think that we could really see a benefit to the state of Oklahoma in terms of our economy. That's because Oklahoma has research and commercial entities ready to build and test aircraft. Ken Vieira is the associate lab director for OSU's multispectral laboratories. We're part and parcel to a, a number of large federal contracts and also are starting to work with uh, many of the actual commercial entities that uh, build uh, UAV platforms and their subsystems. Within weeks, the lab will have a new facility in Lawton. Uh, it's a collaboration of the federal, state, local, uh, and private enterprise to put together a, a testing uh, airport where, where the uh, commercial providers, the commercial designers, builders, uh, can come and test their new platforms or their new sensors or their new equipment or subsystems as they're called. Vieira says there's a growing list of non-military applications for UAVs. The Katrina disaster. Uh, would have been a perfect scenario for UAVs to immediately launch and continue to circle over the city and collect information, uh, be it look, using thermal devices to find people. Similar technology is already used for battling forest fires. UAVs allow those directing operations to know exactly where hot spots and fire crews are without sending up a manned aircraft. Eventually, we will probably see the local police departments you know, having UAVs as part of their, their arsenal. And UAVs are becoming more important to the military. This is the first year that the military is actually um, training more people to actually fly UAVs than they are for regular pilot training. Representative Mike Jackson says UAVs are a $25 billion a year industry tailor-made for growing Oklahoma's economy and keeping our state on the cutting edge of aerospace technology. In Tulsa, I'm Kathy Tatum, the Oklahoma News Report.